فضل من الله إن الله بصير بالعباد أستغفر الله أستغفر الله وحسن محطة الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدس السلام المؤمن المحيمن العبيد الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق الباري المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يصبه له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العبيد الحكيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين عبد القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى أولى الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين سيما بقية الله في العالمين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى كيام يوم الدين قال لكين في كتاب المجيد وفرقان الحميد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين سلام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد رسبك البرادس من الله سبحانه وتعالى give you more knowledge wisdom party تقوى with all sincerity towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is our creator who is enough merciful and kind for us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to be thankful to our Lord who granted us his blessing without our demand even when we were unable to ask still he was taking care of us he was providing sustenance to us as well as we ponder more, we think more and every one of us to try to space few minutes every day to think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his attributes, his virtues, his blessings and about our existence as he is kind to us so that's why those things which are harmful for us, those maybe living things, maybe non-living things which are harmful for us, He has taught us, He has told us. At the same time, those who are enemy of us, He has informed us. He has provided us thinking and planning power. He provided us guidance in the form of divine books and the messengers and imams. Now this is our duty. When we are Akil and Balik, we have to use our brain. We have to use our knowledge and wisdom to proceed on the right path. But when we are Akil and Balik, it does not mean we should think that we don't need the help of Allah, the tawfiq by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For each and every moment of our life, we must trust in Allah and we must seek His shelter. If He will leave us alone, then we are nothing to fight against our enemies, 
in the form of jinnat or shayateen or the mankind. So this is our duty, being akil and balad and mu'min, we should try to improve our knowledge, try to improve our wisdom. At the same time, we should never forget we have to do dua and always try to have strong communication in the form of dua with ourselves and with our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad In Quran in Surah As as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned wal as inna al-insana la fi khus by the time the mankind, the human being, they are losers they are in khusran and there is one saying of our first Imam Hazrat Ali He said, "Of dunya sukul khusran." This word is bazaar of losses. So anyone who is here actually is just like. <coughs> a businessman, a trader, making something or selling something, buying something or giving something, losing something or gaining something. So while we are in this world and we are doing a business during our life, so always we should try our best not to be loser. We should try to make some profit. And whenever the businessmen, they are making profit, so actually they are thinking for their progress, for their development, and for their future. To nourish or to grow their business at the same time, to save something for their family, for their coming generations. So likewise, while we are in this world, we are doing business, what kind of business we are doing is that haram or halal? Secondly, are we losing or are we gaining or making some profit? Actual profit of a believer is his business that is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, laws are provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And any business, any job we are doing here, so if that is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so alhamdulillah then we are not loser. But we must be careful in the form of shayateen, in the form of mankind, we always we will face good and bad people. So as Imam said, dunya so khusran. So we need to be careful. And again, another thing of our tenth Imam, Imam Ali on the dunya Imam said, this word is just like market. It's like wazar. Rabia fiya qawmunu wa khasira akharun. Some of the people are making profit in this world and other are losing. So again this making profit and losing those people who are just thinking for this world maybe making profit for them is a different as compared to the believers. So believer is always thinking about the happiness of Allah. But the other people who are the people or the servant of this world, they are thinking how much money they are making. Whether they are making from haram means or halal means, but always they are thinking that how much they are earning or how much they are increasing. So as Allah says in Quran, while as in al insana la fi khus then he also told what kind of people are not loser. He did not say that those people who will 
make piles and piles of wealth in this world, they will be winner, they will be the successful trader. Allah says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ عَمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتُ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْسَّابِتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the successful people has not mentioned in Surah As that successful people are the successful trader and businessman in this world are not those who are making piles of wealth in this world but those who are believers doing good deeds inviting the people for good cause for noble cause at the same time whenever they are facing any kind of problem or trial so they are enough tolerant and patient so these are different conditions when the people are following these conditions alhamdulillah they will be successful here and here after <coughs> Why Imam say that Adunya Sukal Khusran? Why this word is the word of losses? Because there are a lot of things which are attracting us, are deviating us from the right path. And as maybe in the form of wealth, maybe in the form of dignity, maybe in the form of status, maybe in the form of beauty, maybe in the form of sins, maybe in the form of whispering of shayateen. There are different things which are attracting us to leave the right path. So those who are leaving the right paths, those who are leaving the sirat al mustaqim yes, in this world they are loser. So one day, Hadrat Isa alayhi salam, he was going and on his way he met with Iblis. On that day Iblis was going with five mules and there were different kind of luggages on different fields, mules. Hadrat Isa salam asked, what have you loaded? What do you have today? And are you having same kind of material and commodity on each and every meal? Iblis replied, O oh, the messenger of Allah, these are five meals and each and every one has different commodity. Then Prophet asked, he pointed towards one mule, what is on this? Iblis replied, one <coughs> mule I have loaded with tyranny, zulm, jaw. Then Prophet asked, this is your commodity and who is a buyer of this? He said, tyrant rulers and their ministers and supporters. So one of the commodity which is sold by a blaze, that is Zol. A blaze is selling Zol and there are some kind of people among us who are also zalim and they are buying. What does this mean? Mean they are doing zulm. Like today in Bahrain, in other parts of the world, people are killing the oppressed people. And these are tyrant rulers. And Iblis is coming with different attractions and packages and making them greedy for the rule, for authority, for power, and teaching them, you are king by birth, and you will be king until your death. So that's why don't leave this post, 
even if you are going to kill thousands and thousands of innocent people. So this is a whispering of shayateen to us human beings and those who are listening they are becoming tyrant and doing zulm against the innocent people. The second meal, the Hadrat asks, what have you loaded upon the other one? He said, this mule has arrogance and the love of self. Khod pasandi or gharoor. And Prophet asked, who are the buyers of this arrogance and the love of self? Iblis replied, mayors, chief executives, and the feudal lords, those people who are heading their tribes, heading their communities, heading their nations, heading their cities and villages, usually they are buying arrogance as well as the love of self. Prophet asked, what have you loaded upon? The third view, he said, here is jealousy. Then Hadrat asked, who are the buyer of this jealousy? Then Iblis replied, so all human beings, and especially those who are Ulamai Su, they are buyer of this jealousy. So they are unable to see each other. They are unable when people are prospering or people are or their business or their faith or their knowledge is growing, they are unable to see their relatives or their colleagues to move ahead or to develop their business or their knowledge whatsoever they have, they are unable to see them growing. Then Prophet Isa asked, what have you loaded upon the fourth mule? Iblis replied, the fourth mule has dishonesty. I have loaded khianat, dishonesty upon the fourth mule. And then Prophet asked, who are the buyer of dishonesty? Iblis replied, those people who are doing trade, our business are working for them, are marketing for them, are their staff. So they are buying dishonesty from me. And then they are dishonest with their customers, dishonest with their colleagues, dishonest to sell their commodities. And then Prophet pointed towards the fifth mule and asked, What have you loaded upon the fifth mule? Then Iblis replied, the fifth mule that has cleverness or deception, Dokhadai. And then Prophet asked, Who are the buyer of this deception or cleverness? Iblis replied, Usually these are ladies who are buying deception and the cleverness and these things. So these are different commodities which are being sold by the Iblis and usually us human beings are buying these things. And in Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said related to Iblis and Shaitan Allah says Inna qayda shaitan kana dha'ifa All the Iblis and Shayateen they are whispering they are giving different kinds of ideas and they are changing us or they are changing our thoughts or they are trying to deviate us from the right path but they are not enough powerful they are not holding our hands and pushing us from the right path they are weak Quran says in Makayda shaitan kana dha'ifa all the shaitan they are shaitan they are whispering but they are very weak but in Surah Yusuf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in Quran, Inna qayda kunna adheem. So this ayah is referring to the ladies in context with, in context with,
Hazrat Yusuf and Zulekha and the other ladies who were there, but generally it is for all. Inna kaida kunna adim, but the planning or the power of deviation which is with the ladies that is more stronger than the power of Iblis and Shayati. So we must be careful when different kinds of ideas are coming from from relatives, from sisters, from brothers, from family members or maybe just from in our mind maybe Shayatin are giving the ideas directly so we must be careful we have to analyze what is the best idea what is the right idea always we have to follow we can listen but at the same time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power of analysis we have to analysis or maybe we can do consultation after analysis and doing research and tahqib because Allah says whenever anybody is bringing any news do not react all of a sudden, but first do research, first do tahqiq, and after that you have to show your reaction. And for reaction again, you have to plan, you have to do analysis, and think what is the best way to react. With wisdom, with politeness, with kindness, and then inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us, and always will keep us on the right path. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa al-Asp inna al-Insan al-Afri khus illa al-Lalin amanu amil al-Salihat wa tawasaw bin haqqi wa tawasaw bissa الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم لك الحمد بلي السماوات والعرب ذا الجلال والإكرام رب الأرباب وإله كل مألوه وخالق كل مخلوق ووارث كل شيء ليس كمثل شيء وهو بكل شيء محيط أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت الأحضر المتوحد الفرد المتفرد وانت الله لا اله الا انت الكريم المتكرم العظيم والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين ابي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى علي بن ابي طالب امير المؤمنين عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى فاطمه الزهراء سيده النساء العالمين سيد الشباب احلى الجنة اللهم صل على محمد وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى محمد بن علي وعلى جعفر بن محمد وعلى موسى بن جعفر وعلى علي بن موسى وعلى محمد بن علي وعلى علي بن محمد وعلى حسن بن علي وعلى الخلف القائم المنتظر المحدي اللهم صل اللهم احتال يا ابواب طوبتك ورحمتك ورزقك الواصع إني إليك من الراغبين واتمم لعنامك إنك خير المنعمين اللهم اجل بقية عمر في أداء فرض الجمعات والحج والعمرة ابتغى وجهك يا رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين اللهم صل على محمد وآله محمد وصيكم لتكبى الله ونظم أمركم ورسبت to brothers this beautiful advice of our first imam for all of us for the people respect and be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because one of the greatest favor by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is He has granted us this life we have to respect this we have to use our lifespan in a positive way to serve the mankind to serve 
the noble cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Prophet said when he was leaving this world, he advised us, O oh, the Muslim, I am leaving among you two heavy things, two weighty things. One is Quran and other is Ahlul Bayt. We need to hold fast both of them. But with a lot of sadness on 21st of March, one of the terrorists and extremist Pastor Terry Jones in Florida, United States, he burned Quran. Trust of Allah and all creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon him. And we condemn this. And two days ago in Shah Jahan Mosque, Walking people of faith, Bishop of Guilford, and representative from Archbishop of Canterbury, they were there, and we have released press release, and all of us Christians and Muslims, we have condemned this unfavorable action of Terry Jones. But maybe the same person who also tried to do this action on 9-11 in September, but at that time United States President and head of CIA, they forced this person not to do and he accepted or he postponed. But why all of sudden he has burned Quran now? Maybe that was his tactics or maybe as Raymond Davis was arrested in Pakistan after he killed two innocent Muslims and after his release Foreign Secretary of US said that they have not paid their then if they have not paid, then who have paid? In the beginning they were saying he is diplomat and he must be released. But then all of them they paid the blood money and that is, that is one of the Quranic law, Sharia law. And they followed that Sharia law. They paid the money and they got released their spy person, Raymond Davis. But just one day he was released, next day more than 50 people who were elders of North Waziristan and they were having a meeting and they were bombarded by United States forces and the next in next few days this burning of Quran happened in Florida United States maybe in this way they are showing their hatred towards Muslims and towards Quran because his release was according to one of them law of Quran, Sharia law and then they are showing their hatred by burning of Quran but we condemn if someone is 
staying on the earth and spitting on the moon. So this spitting will not make ugly to the moon. That spitting will come on his face. We the Muslim, we are people of peace. People of brotherhood and people of understanding. But if and this is not point of view of all Christians. Majority of them are condemn, condemning this thing. But they must know as one person among Muslim, if he is doing some extremist action, then world media is blaming Muslims. But we Muslims, we are not like them. We consider this action is action of one person. And the church he is leading has not more than 50 members. But maybe in this way he wants to make famous himself. Or maybe <coughs> different agencies are forcing him to do this thing against the Muslim. In any case, we need to be more careful, we need to be conscious and we should try to protect our dignity and the dignity of Divine Book, the Holy Quran. Salawat. So Alhamdulillah by the grace of God we had a general body meeting of our community and a management committee has been set up. Almost 12 people uh, are happy to be volunteer to work for different projects as coordinator. And inshallah their names will be pasted here. And what we need, those who are in management committee, they need to work with more commitment and the other members of community they need to cooperate with them so that as a whole as a community we should go ahead with all veracity purity and unity we need to work together we need to spare some time for the noble cause of Islam and we need to earn and to save something for hereafter and that is when we are working and serving our mankind sisters and brother in Iman Alhamdulillah this is one of the insurance which will help us in the grave and at the day of judgment as earlier I mentioned inshallah uh, leaflets will be given to you uh, this Sunday we have arranged a interfaith program and the topic is the people of faith are the deadly virus or they are good people so one speaker is from Jews one is from Christian and one is from Muslim and that is also for of Ahlul Bayt al and Muhammad. I request all of you please show your representation over there and this is one of the best chance to do tabligh to have relations to tell them yes the followers of Al Bayt they are one of the good people a good faith a good community who can work with all mankind living on the earth and inshallah food will be served over there please Make sure to come 3 p.m. Shea Water Community Center. And then also we are going to arrange a football match, interfaith football match. Uh, each team will have five players. So head of uh, this department is Brother Muhammad Ali Chaudhary. So those who are willing to play, please give your names. Uh, I think at least we should have two teams and almost we have one month so please do practice and inshallah we should be one of 
the winner team in this tournament inshallah and uh, as the time is going to be changed the clocks will move forward so next Friday prayer Dua and Nutbah we will start at half past twelve and for next six months uh, Friday prayer and the sermon and everything will be in between 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna a'atainaka al-Qawsar Fasfalli li rabbika wanhar Inna shaniaka huwa al-Aqtar Allah Allah Salli ala Muhammad